From axe-shaped fish to bone-eating zombies, here are 11 crazy things that live in the deepest place on Earth. Welcome to the Mariana Trench. Number 11. Frilled Shark The frilled shark has existed for a very long period of time. They're so-called living fossils, and they've been swimming about for between 95 and 300 million years. In addition, while they were discovered around the 1880s, they were not characterized until 2004. This is one predator who understands the importance of keeping its head down. It may be found at depths of exceeding 5,000 feet. The ruffled appearance of their gills gives frilled sharks their name. They may reach a height of 7 feet and have 300 teeth. Their teeth are so brightly colored that they attract prey. They consume squid and other animals, but they aren't fussy about what they eat and will even eat other sharks. It has the ability to expand its jaws so wide that it can swallow an animal up to half its size. In addition, they have a 312-year gestation period. Because of its eel-like form, the frilled shark was once mistaken for a sea serpent. Legends of sea serpents are said to have originated from sightings of this shark, which makes it reasonable, right? Despite the fact that no one has ever witnessed it hunt, experts believe it rushes at its victims like a snake. While those gills may appear attractive, they actually generate a vacuum that allows food to be sucked in. We won't be able to see it because it departs so deep and only comes up to shallow water on rare occasions. Number 10. Hatchet Fish So, if you meet face to face with this guy, you'd be shocked, right? The deep sea hatchet fish gets its name from its metallic hatchet-like appearance. It may be located at a depth of 5,000 feet. Its scales give it a metal-like appearance, which is fortunate because it would be difficult to notice if it weren't so shiny. The largest hatchet fish are around 15 centimeters long, and the species is bioluminescent, so you'd think they'd be easy prey for predators. Actually, with their light organs facing downward, this tiny guy performs a clever feat known as counter-illumination. Doesn't it sound magical? The hatchet fish can adjust how bright it is according to the quantity of light shining down from above. By camouflaging itself this way, it can hide its shadow and be really difficult to spot. This is one hatchet you'll never see coming. Number 9. Plastic Plastic is the most shocking thing you'll find inside the Mariana Trench. A plastic bag was discovered at 10,898 meters by a remotely controlled submersible in 1998. In 2019, an adventurer discovered plastic trash even further below. Furthermore, microplastics have been discovered in the stomachs of amphipods in the Challenger Deep. This is the deepest record of microplastic intake, they said. Number 8. Sea Devil Anglerfish You've most likely seen this one in a movie. Finding Nemo included a sea devil anglerfish, and the picture has since been utilized in high-profile programs like The Simpsons. They were discovered in 1864 and may survive at depths of up to 6,000 feet. Experts are baffled by its motions, as they are with many deepwater animals, and the only one filmed alive was in 2014. The esca of the anglerfish is its most distinguishing characteristic. The slimy, tentacle-like object protruding from its head is that. It attracts prey with its luminous esca. The supper of the anglerfish glides toward the light, anticipating a juicy bite when we realize they're the only thing on the menu. The fish can expand its mouth quite wide, in fact, it is considered that it can make its mouth wider than itself, allowing it to swallow large prey. Female anglerfish have an advantage over male anglerfish in the fight of the sexes. They're a lot larger. A male may reach approximately 3 centimeters in length, whereas a female can reach up to 18 centimeters. The man, on the other hand, receives a heinous retaliation. The fish's reproductive cycle is unknown. Although it is believed that the male attaches himself to the female and feeds off her until she's ready to take his seed and begin spawning, he begins to deteriorate steadily until he's nothing but teeth and testes. Let's move on. And now for one of the coolest animals. But first, if you're new here, welcome, and be sure to subscribe before you leave. Number 7. Telescope Octopus Some deep water creatures like to relax. After all, there's a lot of pressure down there. Perhaps none more so than the octopus with the telescope. It's quite relaxed living between 500 and 6,500 feet below the surface. In fact, that's exactly what it does. It lies down and uses its eyes to search the water for any food. On a telescope octopus, the eyes are the first thing you notice. 
It derives its name from the fact that they stick straight up on stalks in a telescopic manner. It may reach a length of 20 centimeters, so it can really extend out. Its limbs, like those of other octopuses, dominate its body. However, you can also get a good look at its digestive gland if you want to. That's because it too is transparent and jelly-like. The good news for the octopus is that it's not too visible in the shadows, so it can avoid predators. Not sure a major organ on permanent display is a good look, though. Number 6. Benthocodon When you think of a jellyfish, you probably picture a translucent, wobbling creature that stings your foot. Not this one, at least. The benthocodon isn't see-through. It has a 2-3 cm diameter circular red top that won't sting you unless you run into it 2,500 feet below the surface. To be at that depth, you'd have to be insane, and much more insane if you didn't have any flippers. To put it in context, most recreational scuba divers only go down to 130 feet deep. Because it lives so far down, little is known about it, but the reddish dome is useful for feeding because it helps the jellyfish hide its fluorescent food and avoid attracting predators as it eats them. Their prey appears to humans as little particles that sparkle in the dark. It's hazardous so far down, because all those lights make you think you're heading towards prey, but, like the anglerfish, it might be a dangerous predator enticing you in. The benthocodon, on the other hand, does not have to worry about that. It swishes its tentacles through the water to move. It possesses at least 1,500 tentacles, allowing it to travel quickly across the ocean. More and more new kinds of animals are being discovered deep down as ROVs travel where no man has gone before, such as this new species of jellyfish and the frilled shark to observe what it does deep down in the trenches. Number 5. Barrel Eye Fish When this fish with a translucent head first debuted on Blue Planet, it stunned viewers. It's also known as a spook fish because of its jelly-like forehead, which allows it to see up through its skull for better sight. Isn't it strange? It is a very effective predator that can survive at depths of at least 2,600 feet and grow to be between 15 and 40 centimeters long. The eyes are barrel-shaped and may be moved forward and up, acting as binoculars for spotting prey. The barrel eye has only been observed in a dead form when it was found in 1939. When a live specimen was snapped in 2004, that changed. No one had ever heard of the translucent dome before then, since it had never survived the journey to the surface. It stays motionless a lot of the time and spends much of its life alone. Its minuscule mouth means it has to be selective over what it can chew. The barrel fish enjoys things like zooplankton, and the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute were able to record the live specimen live, swimming around in 2004 in the Mariana Trench. Number 4. Goblin Shark this shark is quite hideous, which is why it's known as the goblin shark. Of course, I'd never say something like that to its face. Poor animal. Its sword-like snout and ancient look, though, set it apart. It's a living fossil that hasn't altered much in millions of years. It may grow up to 13 feet in length and weigh approximately 200 kilograms, so it's not someone to mess with. It's a slow-moving predator that loves to wait for prey to swim overhead while resting on the ocean floor. It eats squids and crabs, and it has been known to eat plastic, which is a terrible commentary on the state of the earth. When it goes to take a bite, its joints enable the jaws to slide forward, like its teeth are coming out of its face almost. It's bad enough being eaten by a shark in the first place, without it looking like Pennywise the Clown from it. Creepy, huh? Number 3. Zombie Worm In 2002, zombie worms, also known as bone-eating worms, were found by chance when they looked to be digging into the skeletons of deceased whales and fish. Experts were perplexed since they appeared to be too soft to drill in that manner, yet that is how they earned their name. Later in 2012, the solution arrived. The worms attached themselves to the bone and then used acid to break down the bones and extract the fatty deliciousness therein. Yummy! Do you want to hear something else that's strange? There are male and female zombie worms, but their connection is strange. Because that's all they could see, scientists assumed they were all female at first. The males were actually inside the females, remaining in a larval state. Gives a whole new meaning to the expression man trouble. Number 2. Foraminifera Foraminifera, often known as fora, are microscopic creatures that belong to the protist family. They range in size from 100 micrometers to around 20 centimeters. 
They're a primary source of food in the Mariana Trench since they're so tiny, and I'm thinking, chewy. That's a pity, since there's a lot more to these seemingly little details than meets the eye. Not that there's much to see in the first place, given how small they are. Fora capture their prey, whether it's plankton or tiny animals, via thin hairs called reticulopodia. These animals are tiny, yet they have a lot of life experience. They're supposed to date from the Carboniferous and Permian epochs, making them living fossils dating back 300 million years. Those who feast on them also have to crunch through their shells. These are made from stuff like sand and organic particles. The shells can be hollow tubes or spheres, or they can contain little chambers. Four are related to algae, and it's been known for algae to grow inside these chambers. It's kind of the ultimate deep-sea apartment share. Number 1. Ping-Pong Tree Sponge The nastiest name on our list also happens to be the weirdest. Sure, Ping-Pong Tree Sponge seems like something from SpongeBob SquarePants, and it's a lovely creature. This isn't an item to fool with, despite its attractive appearance. It dwells at a depth of about 9,000 feet underwater, which is awful news for tiny creatures. This is a sponge that eats other sponges. Yes, you read that correctly. It's a sponge that eats people. The 50 centimeter tall stalk is topped with a succession of stems that dangle in the water, and if you're a crustacean and swim too near, you'll quickly find out. Each stem has a network of small hooks at the end, called spicules which you can easily get caught in. The result is a long and agonizing death. Your body is essentially dissolving as cells migrate up. Because the ping-pong tree sponge lacks internal digestion, it must do it on the outside, where it may be seen by all. Imagine being devoured as well as being on display for the entire ocean to see. You're also present at the same time. It has some really nasty habits for such a lovely animal. Thanks for watching. Were you surprised by any of these? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and see you soon.